Oh my goodness, people. I thought I had pressed the record button. I had not, and I was just awkwardly talking to myself for 20 minutes. Grab, grab your water, grab your bubbly. I'm drinking the pineapple one today. And we, my ladies, are gonna catch up because it has been way too freaking long. I was away for quite some time and I haven't posted for the past year and some because quite honestly guys, I was so incredibly busy last year. So you may be asking, well, okay, what were you doing? Like, where were you? I was very lucky, very fortunate enough to have gotten a job, a video production series with a local tourism company, okay? That project production series took all summer for me to do. And not only was I doing that, I was also doing wedding shoots. So for those that may not be aware, I am a professional freelance videographer. I conduct wedding shoots, I conduct business shoots, I conduct tourism shoots, I conduct strength shoots, I will do it all because I love my job. And not gonna lie, wedding films just have a special place in my heart now because I just, I love creating wedding highlights for couples. In late 2020, I, you know, really started diving into freelance video work and I was lucky where I was getting jobs, I was getting, you know, opportunities to pursue this path. And then the pandemic hit and just literally flipped everything upside down, which in defense wasn't necessarily a bad business situation for me. Um, I did end up losing all of my jobs for 2020 and I had to look for work. And I was very lucky that I got to work in the strength field because that has opened up a lot of doors for me. It's just awesome. Honestly, it's awesome. Like I, I look back on how so much has changed and to where I am now, I am so incredibly proud because I really took the time to grow and establish myself. And I still feel like I, I am growing. In fact, I feel like I've even grown more just even in the past like four or five months. Last year, I did a lot of jobs with wedding clients, business clients, tourism shoots, as well as me and my husband actually started a YouTube channel dedicated to his strength journey. You can go find him, James Jeffers, strongman. Go find him on all social medias. Um, I'm also very proud because we've been very consistent with uploading and just documenting his day-to-day -day training to, you know, traveling and um, it's been amazing. We've met so many incredible people within the strength community and it's awesome. It's great. Everything's been really good. So I essentially stopped uploading because my work-life balance was not where I wanted it to be. Um, I definitely took on way too many projects last year and I, you know, conducted weddings and then not to mention I was also still working part-time at, at my job. You know, I really found out through the process of working um, for somebody that I, I don't enjoy office work and I feel almost creatively Creatively? Creatively, that's the word. Creatively blocked when I am around, you know, that type of atmosphere where I just feel like blah. I just, ugh, I feel blah. Um, so that's why I really took a step away. It's just time management, too busy with projects, um, too busy with my work, didn't have a work-life balance. And then also too, I should add that me and my husband traveled a lot. We went to Columbus, Ohio in March, 2022. Then we went to Quebec City, Quebec 
in August 2022. Then we went to Iceland in November of 2022. Then, okay, this past year in March, my husband um, qualified again for the Arnold in Columbus. So we went back in March this year. Then, okay, this summer has been crazy. Now, within this coming week-ish or two, we are actually going to be headed down to Denver, Colorado, where he is going to be competing at the Shaw Classic. So, a lot of traveling, as you can tell, and Keelan has not had a lot of time to dedicate herself to her own, her own thing. I, I haven't had time to really just sit down and breathe and just get behind a camera again or get in front of a camera again, talk to you guys, fill you in. And um, I feel like now is a great time for me to really start that. In May, this past May, I actually stepped away from my job. I left my job and it has been one of the greatest things, honestly. And I don't, I don't want that to sound um, I don't want that to sound ungrateful, but it has been such an incredible time for me, especially regarding the growth of my businesses. Um, and I have just been in an incredible different mental state since I left my job in May. I'm sure like many other people out there, when you leave your job, your energy is just all over the place. And I felt that after I left my job for like a week, I felt, oh my goodness, I have so much time now to dedicate on my work, um, to dedicate within my businesses, to dedicate to myself. I'm gonna get so much done, it's gonna be great. I'm actually gonna be able to get done little things that I've been putting off for months um, regarding you know, just home maintenance and finally just diving into the things that I needed to get done. And let me tell you, it has been, oh my goodness, it has been great. I, it has been awesome, it's been great. I feel just happier. I get so much done now during the day. It's incredible when you can actually just work for yourself in peace and quiet and just get shit done. You know what I mean? <laughs> so that moves into now, today, what we're gonna talk about. I have decided that I'm going to start sharing more of my life. That's basically what it is, guys. I am back. I am going to start, you know, documenting more of my day-to-day -day processes, being an entrepreneur, taking you with me, on shoots, whether that's weddings or client shoots or just business shoots or strength shoots or whatever type of thing that I can really take you guys with me and just show you more of the behind the scenes processes. Um, I'm also going to be showing you more of my creative side because I love painting. I love painting and ever since I have taken a step back from my job, I've noticed that I've just been in more of a creative mood, um, sketching more again now. I completely renovated, you know, upstairs, tearing everything apart, making a little studio space um, in our spare bedroom. I have spent months doing that and I just feel so happy. I, I really do. I feel great. I feel like I'm finally where I'm supposed to be at in my life. So I'm planning on doing that. I'm planning on showing you my day-to-day -day life as a female woman entrepreneur and diving more into my creativity, taking you guys behind the scenes. And I hope you enjoy it. I hope you do. But you know what, if not, you know, it's okay because this is for me. I am doing this for me. I am doing this for something to look back on and be proud of one day and just be like, I did it. I did it. I went out there, I put myself out there and I just went for it and I'm doing it. So this is what I'm doing. I'm going to try and show up for myself and show up for you guys. And if it inspires you along the way, 
that's great. That's awesome. I'm planning on uploading on Wednesdays. If you want to come and watch, that's great. But other than that, that's all I have to say. That's all I have to say, guys. I'm back. I'm happy to be here and I hope I can help. That's all. That's all we can do. So enjoy your day. I'm going to get back to work now.